Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and today I'm going to talk about how to animate text on your Squarespace website. So Squarespace has now added the option to animate your images. So if we go down to a section here, I'm going to click edit. And if I add an image, You'll notice that it now has the content tab, the design tab, and an animation tab. So if I refresh my page here, you'll see that by adding that animation, when I scroll down to the picture, it now slides up the animation that I applied but it does not have this animation tab for text box. So if I want to animate this text to slide up, I'm going to have to use some custom CSS. To do this, I'm going to be using the animation cheat sheet by Justin Aguilar, right here. So I can click through these different animations he has and pick which one I want my text to do. So for instance, I can have it slide down or slide up, slide left, slide right, and so on. I'm going to choose slide up. So to do this, I'm going to click on edit on the section where I want my text to be animated. So if I'm trying to animate this text here, I click edit, and I'm actually going to add this as a code block, not a text block. So I'm going to copy the text that I have, click here, to insert a code block. And because I want it as a paragraph or in body text, I'm going to put that text in between key tags. Okay. If you do not want it to be a paragraph or body text, you can change these to be heading ones, heading twos, or heading threes. Make sure you change both of them. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be doing body text, so I'm going to have P's. Now this automatically applies all the styles you have to body text. You don't have to re-put in all of your styles as long as you put the P there. Now for the computer to know to animate this particular block of text, we're going to add in an ID tag. So I'm going to put ID equals some quotation marks and in between there I'm going to put the name of the animation I want to use. So I picked slide up, so I'm going to put slide up. Now we do not use spaces or dashes, instead you use a capital letter on the second word. So slide up with a capital U, no space. Okay, and you need to remember that, what you've named it. I'm going to click apply. Now before I delete this text block, I actually need to upload my animation style sheet. So I'm just going to highlight some, an area of text here. If you don't have a text block, just add one and type in some random letters and numbers. It really doesn't matter at this point. You're gonna click link, and this is to open up your media folder. So we're gonna click on the gear icon, go to file, and I'm going to upload my animation.css. Okay, you can find this beneath this video. There'll be a link for you to download this file. So you need to download the file and then click here to upload it to your website. And click save. And now you can just delete this block of text or the text block that you added. You don't need it anymore. You click save. Then we're going to go to from your home page. You're going to go to settings, advanced, code injection, and in the header, you're going to copy and paste the following code. Then in the footer, you're gonna copy and paste the following code. 
Within this footer code, you'll notice I have slide up right there and slide up right there. If you are not using the slide up animation, if you want to, let's say you slide down, you're gonna change these to be slide down, just like what you named them in your code block. Okay, but in this case, I'm using slide up. So I'm gonna change here and here to be slide up and then click save, okay? If you are doing more than one animation, so let's say you have a second text block um, that you're animating in a different way, then you just need to copy and paste this again and change the second one to be the name of the other animation. If you want this same animation on a text block, then you don't need to repeat this. Just make sure that you also name it slide up. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the home page, click design, custom CSS, and copy and paste the following code. Again, if you did not use slide up, make sure you change this to be the name of the animation and you should see your text actually disappear. And what this does is it hides your text until you scroll up to it for the animation. Otherwise your text will be there and then suddenly disappear for the animation to happen. So we're going to click save, go back, scroll all the way up. We're going to refresh our page just to double check that our animation works. So as I scroll down, I should see that slide up and bounce a little bit there. If you want that to happen a little slower, then you're going to also add the following CSS under custom CSS. Again, if you did not use slide up, make sure you change this to represent the animation that you chose. And then I'm going to change this to be five seconds just so we can see and make sure that uh, code is working. And then you can play with that number to be as slow as you would like. Let's click save. Scroll up to the top and refresh. And you'll notice that it worked a lot slower. So you want to play with that number. You're not going to want it to move that slowly. Um, but it just shows you can change the speed that the animation happens as well. And that is how you add animation to your text on your Squarespace website.